700 brand new chemicals are manufactured every single year in the United States. Exposure to the chemical BPA can lead to higher risks of obesity. BPA, it's all over our life. It's been associated with diabetes, asthma, and many kinds of cancers such as breast cancer. What does this? This is a serious problem. 93% of Americans have bisphenol A in our blood. Babies are born pre-contaminated. Phthalates are very powerful chemicals that we know can have a very strong effect on the body. Experts believe the rise in the use of industrial chemicals is linked to issues like lower IQ, cancer, and reproductive problems. In plastics and in the lining of cans, you'll find BPA. In cosmetics, skin creams and perfumes, there's phthalates. Foods sprayed with pesticides. The same statement was made about lead. The same statement was made about mercury and PCBs and PBDEs. The regulatory system that's been set up assumes that these chemicals are safe until proven otherwise. There's really good evidence in the laboratory that levels of exposure much lower than four micrograms have effects on the developing brain, the developing mammary cancer, on the prostate gland, on the thyroid gland. That can have very devastating consequences. There are ways that individuals can try to minimize their exposure. If you wash your fruit and vegetables, you remove most of the residual pesticides. If you buy fresh foods instead of packaged foods, you're not exposing yourself to any contaminants that leach into your food or water. One of the most avoidable exposures that people are not as aware as they should be is heating food in microwaves in plastic containers. You can put them in Pyrex or glass containers. Infrared sauna at the time was really nascent. There, no one knew about it. But I saw these great things happening with the people that got in the infrared sauna. Most people think, oh, you get in a sauna, you heat up, that's great, you sweat, you walk. No, it, it, there's so much more to it. Infrared is around us. We give off infrared from our bodies. So we give off infrared at about 9.4 micron. That's what we use in the heaters gives off 9.4 micron. That resonant frequency also carries over into the human body using infrared. What happens? The water molecules within the cells will vibrate and this is how the toxins cleave off. And then they go through interstitial fluid and then they go out through the organs of elimination and hopefully sweating. Now sweating's not necessary in order to detox, but it's definitely a good pathway for that to happen. So we took this information and, and that is what has informed us for the last 18 years.